Hello friends, welcome to Nandkishore classes. Today we are going to study a very important topic. Yes, we are going to study to find square of any number ending with digit 5. Let's have a look in single step we'll find the answer. Let's suppose we want to find square of 15. I'm starting from a very simple number 15 square. Look at this 5. Whenever a number ends with digit 5, what we need to do? 5 square. We know that 5 square is 25. Just write 25 then. Then look at the first number. It is 1. This 1 should be multiplied with the next number. Next number is 2. So 1 multiplied with 2, we get 2. So final answer is 225. See, in one step we have found the answer. Look at the next example, 25 square. 25 square, how would we find the answer? This is 5, 5 square means 25. And then 2, this 2 should be multiplied with the next number. Next number is 3, so 2 multiplied with 3, we get 6. Its answer is 625. Next example, 35 square, 5 square is 25, same, then let's talk about 3, 3 should be multiplied with the next value, next value is 4, so 3 multiplied with 4 is 12, so see it's very easy step, very easy trick which one can use to find the answer, we have done for 15, 25, 35. Let us try for few more values. 55 square. This 5 square is 25. And this 5, 5 into 6, 30. 3025 is the answer. 75 square. If we do 75 square, same 5 square is 25. 7 multiplied with the next value. 7 into 8, 50. Six. So answer is 5, 6, 2, 5. 95 square. 5 square is 25. 9 with its next value. Its next value is 10. So 9 into 10, 90. See 9025 is the answer. How easy this trick is. Any two digit number ending with 5 just in fractions of second. You can find the answer. Even though not only 95, you can move ahead also. 105 square. 105 square. If it comes in 3 digit number, this 5 square is 25. Then this 10. 10 should be multiplied with the next value. Next value is 11. 10 into 11. 10 into 11 is 110. So this is the answer. Let's try last example, 115 square. See this 5 square is 25, 11 multiplied with 12. Now you should know the multiplication with the next number. By that time you can apply this method. See, when 12 is to multiply with 11, what will we get? 2, 3, 1. That means 132. So final answer is 13,000. 225 so see how easy this method is which is very helpful for competitive exams i hope you are clear with the concept and if you are clear with the concept and like the video then please share it as well thank you so much